Hi, 631. Hope everybody had a great weekend. <clears throat> um, just wanted to talk a little bit about assignment one. Uh, the deadline for that is, is coming up in a, in a few weeks. Um, keep in mind, you know, what I talked about or how I feel about deadlines. Um, just a guideline. Uh, if you want to get it in on the deadline, that's fine. If you need um, some extra time, then, then certainly uh, take that extra time that you need. And uh, I'm, I'm not penalizing for um, you know, being a few days or, or four or five days over the deadline. Just be reasonable. And um, as I said before, let me know. Keep me in, keep me in the loop if you're going to be submitting something uh, a little bit after um, when, uh, when, it should, when it's supposed to come in, I guess. But assignment one uh, is essentially the start of a, uh, a large project that uh, will take you over uh, take you through this course and the next two health promotion courses as well. So when you're done health promotion 633, um, you'll have this very nice uh, polished and refined proposal. Um, but this is, uh, you know, we're going to break it down in baby steps and this is step one. And uh, the purpose of this assignment is to get you thinking about what it is that you're interested in with respect to a health promotion problem or a topic. For example, smoking, vaping, exercise, physical activity, uh, life jackets, of course, uh, alcohol consumption, illicit drug use, uh, the list goes on. I think um, everybody here knows what, what, what the, <laughs> the different health promotion problems uh, uh, we're facing are. Um, I, with that said, uh, I encourage you to think outside of the box as well. Um, you know, we've talked about in the last week or so, some other kind of larger, more pressing global issues. So uh, climate anxiety, uh, you know, mental health uh, with respect to, to the COVID pandemic. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of um, other things that are kind of new and on the radar screen as well. So don't feel that you just have to fall back on the standard, um, no disrespect to the dietitians, but we don't need to fall back to the standard. Uh, I want people to, to eat healthier. Um, again, no disrespect. My wife's a di my wife's a dietitian, so so I'm well versed uh, in that area as well. But um, um, you know, if that's what you want to do, that's great. Of, of course, you you do want to keep it somewhat related to uh, you know what the field that you're working in. Um, if you are a dietitian, then then you know, hopefully you will do something uh, related to food. If you're, um, uh, you know, if, if you're a, a nurse working on, you know, the, the pediatric ward in a, in a certain subspecialty, then perhaps there's some health promotion um, issues or, or problems there that need, need tackling and, and need some attention. So um, I find things are a little bit easier uh, and projects and assignments are a little bit easier to work on when you are doing something that you have a vested interest in. But with that said, like, uh, you know, I'm not gonna beat the horse too much, but um, feel free to think big and do something uh, a little bit different. But keep in mind that this is a problem uh, or a topic that you're gonna be working on for the next few courses as well. So of course, it, I guess it should be something near and dear uh, to your heart. So uh, I guess just a, a brief overview of assignment one. Uh, we have it here in our course. I've just got it up on my other screen here as, as due at the end of unit three, which is the end of week five. So that's in a, in a few weeks or so, but, but this assignment is, is not a large uh, assignment. The, the max is five pages, and I, I don't really like uh, having or assigning uh, word count limits or uh, uh, page maxes or, or anything like that. Uh, it's, a, it's a guideline. Uh, with that said, don't submit something that's 10 pages and don't submit something that's two pages. Be around that, that five page uh, area. Um, if you're four, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna get marks taken off just because it's only three and a half or four pages. And with that said, if it's six pages, you're not gonna get marks taken off as well. We're all adults here and, and I don't think we need to um, uh, take the approaches that you would typically find in a you know, a psych 101 at the undergrad level course. So, um, so yeah, so stick around five pages. And um, I always say it, if you can say it in three and a half pages, say it in three and a half pages. Um, but we'll, uh, but we'll keep that as a, as a bit of a guideline. 
And of course that does not include the title page and um, reference pages as well. And for this assignment, we don't, I, I'm not gonna require an abstract. We'll do that. I think we do that in the next uh, paper-based assignment. So what we want to do here is we want to outline a, a topic or a health problem that you're interested in. Uh, we want to have a little bit of a lit review. You want to introduce the topic and you want to create a rationale for why that topic is important. So, you know, I know a little bit about, you know, things in the exercise and chronic disease and health behavior world. Uh, you know, if you're going to give me something that has to do with um, climate anxiety or life jackets, uh, or smoking, convince me that the topic is important. That's what you'll have to do in any proposal review. Of course, my phone, somebody is texting me and it's going off and off and off right when I do a video. But anyways, I'll ignore it. Um, convince me that your problem is important. So with that, with that, you'll want to include things like prevalence rates. How prevalent is the problem, either at a local or a national or a global level, depending on the scope of your 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 health problem or your health opportunity. Um, so we've got the problem, we've got why do we need to focus on that problem? And the third is a description of the population. Who are the people that we're interested in? Um, you know, for me, a lot of my work ha has to do with cancer survivors. So, um, so I would provide a description of say breast cancer survivors if that's the population of interest that our intervention is gonna be targeting. Um, you know, if you're interested in, uh, you know, children with um, congenital heart disease or congenital heart defects, then, you know, describe that population uh, for me or, or for the reader. So in this paper, um, you know, three, four, five, six pages, we want to have three main sections. The first one is that, um, what is your problem? The second one is, you know, a little bit of a lit review what's been done on the problem and why is it important? So we've got that lit review and a rationale component. And the third one is, is a description of, of the population. Everything is outlined in Moodle. If you click on the assessment tab, you'll see assignment one, health promotion proposal part one, um, problem opportunity identification. And you can read through, a, a, you know, uh, some other points there, but I just didn't want to take that and copy and paste it into the forum. I wanted to, um, maybe just give you a, a bit more um, context, especially with respect to the page count and uh, things like that. So I will create, or no, I think it's already created. There's an assignment one forum in unit three. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, post, if you have any questions about assignment one, post to that forum. I always say if you're thinking something or if you have a question about something, chances are somebody else in the class has that question as well. So post it there. Uh, usually I'll get back to you within you know, 12, 24 hours, I'm pretty quick. And um, we'll take it from there. So again, it, you know, it, it's not a long assignment. Uh, I didn't want to post this one too early because just, you know, getting our feet wet in the course, kind of getting the ball rolling. I feel like now we have a little bit of momentum and stability um, moving forward. Uh, so I didn't want to hit you up with an assignment uh, too soon. Um, the other assignments, I'll give you much more lead time than, than two, two and a half weeks. Uh, but um, I just didn't want to didn't want to overload you. So there's assignment one, and um, yeah, okay, but uh, yeah, we'll let it. We'll leave it there, and um, talk to you guys soon.